Hi, I hope you all are doing good. Um, uh, let's start with the day four. Before starting, um, I would like to thank everybody who, you know, who specified their comments on the videos, uh, who sent me an email that this is missing and this we should cover and all those stuffs. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to cover everything which I received as on email or as on a comment on the video. Um, if you still feel we missed something, uh, do let me know either on the comments or you can email me. Um, there's my email ID on the YouTube page. Uh, okay, so coming back to the today's discussion. Today we'll discuss how we can add multiple table into the designer, which is my data set designer. What are the different ways that we can link tables? Um, how we can specify filter on the report and how uh, different linking and indentation impact the size of my data set. Uh, once we finalize it, we'll uh, apply that into our report. Uh, but uh, to those who are looking for RDLC part, today we are not covering anything on the RDLC. We'll be only discussing how our uh, data set can be used with multiple tables. So let's start by creating a report with multiple data item before doing that let me take some sales order so my sales order number 1001 uh, have no lines that's okay uh, 101005 have one line and 101009 have three two lines that being said okay I'll be using these three on my example so I'll just copy the uh, document numbers so that I can use it uh, let's create a new report to understand it and uh, let's take uh, the data item which we had earlier in our report uh, and I'll add some different fields so just for our understanding and then we can uh, change it later right so document type document number let's say line number and number okay and for better understanding I make it as sales line field one because this is the name which is there on the layout right now I want to add sales header table so that I can provide options to user that which sales order they want to print and they can filter on customer they can filter on um, even uh, currencies that use so I you know I I'll, I'll click F3 on the first line and as a data set uh, data item I'll add sales header once that it added I can again click F3 and select some fields from the sales header table which is let's say in this case is document type and number okay and again for the better understanding I'll, I'll just change it to sales header field 1 and 2 just to make it simple understandable field 1 and field 2 okay I'll save it as uh, let's say 60,001 and uh, tem test report okay now these are the two tables which we added one is sales header one is sales line because if you see my sales order uh, it is actually built on two tables this part which is the uh, which is the part other than line tab everything comes from sales header Whereas my lines tab come from sales line table. Okay, we all know that, right? So let's try to see um, how it is right now linked and how it impacts. Okay, so just to give it a start, um, the first way that we can link our two tables which are there in the data set are by without indenting them and there without specifying any link so how the structure will look like if you follow that is similar what we just developed on our report which is uh, this is kind of the screenshot of the report which we are developing so it looks like similar right you have uh, two fields from the sales header you have uh, two fields from sales line so let's check what the output is and uh, it outputs something like this where whatever the filter that you apply will bring all the records from the table one and uh, whatever the filter that you apply on the line that will bring all the records from table two um, I know it's a bit confusing so let's go back there and try to run it to understand it 
so instead of running it for the all I'll you know I'll, I'll just filter it out for let's say three record which we have on the sales header part using the number filter and let's preview it and let's go to the help about this page so if you see first my sales header fields are populated which is order 1001 uh, this uh, 5 and 9 whereas my sales line fields are empty after the sales header table processing is complete my sales line started with sales header detail as empty and all my sales line are coming not only with respect to these three but respect to all like these three are related to these uh, orders but these are not related anywhere to these orders so my whole sales line table is appearing here and my filtered sales header because I specified a filter on the number field so only those records are coming over here so that's the one way where we don't indent our tables and we don't specify any link on our designer so let's go back and see the second method which is you can indent them but you don't specify a link so how my data set will be so I'm saying something like this that your data item of sales line is indented a you know uh, to the sales header but there's no link we'll see what the link is uh, in the next so before uh, we understand it so what you can do is you can select this uh, all set for the sales line and from the bottom you can indent it which is right shift alt right the shortcut key right so I can click on this and you see that it is indented you can also see it on the properties you can see the indentation label as 1 whereas the indentation of this uh, item is 0 and then this these two are 1 and all these two are indented as 2 so let's save it and now let's run it on the same filtered record set which we ran last time so the same filter let's run it and see what the output is so now if you see for every line on my sales header for every record of my sales header all sales line are repeating so for my thousand and one if you see all these lines are repeating okay and once all the sales line is over my second header sales header is printed and then all my sales line are again repeated for that in the same way when this is end then my 1009 or oh, 10,000 uh, 1010 is started and all sales sign are again repeating so that's the second way where we indent it so for every for each table one record which is in our case of sales header all table two records will be printed because we indented it so just by indenting my data set has been changed now let's go back uh, uh, to the designer and uh, uh, let's see what's the third one so our third one is where we can where we should indent and then link the data item so for this you need to understand how these table work I'm not going into that detail uh, but we are looking for something like this that this is indented that's okay but at the same time at sales line I specify a link that it is linked to sales header based on document type and document number so that only selective sales line or related sales line appear in my data set so let's try to do that in our report so if I go on my uh, designer which I sorry for that okay uh, let's go back to the designer and try to do uh, the link between these two tables and um, you should know it that uh, the sales header and sales line are connected with certain fields which is document type and document number which are linked to sales header document type and sales header document number so these are my links which I specify on my sales line table that all the sales line 
which have same document type as of header and same document number as of header sales header are should only be considered when I run this report so let's run it now and see what is changed okay and I'm running it for the same filters again so if I see it here now I see a small and a uh, I would say a uh, performance optimized data set right where for order number 1001 which does not have a sales line so it print only one line whereas for 101005 uh, 1, have one sales line that prints it and 101009 uh, 1, have two lines so it repeated twice so this is something which I'm looking when I'm may when I'm planning to build a report right and this is the best way to apply uh, when you start adding multiple table so that your data set remain less and your report performance is best so this is something which will output like each table one record only table two linked record which are you know which are linked to that particular header now there's one last one which I want to bring into picture uh, because if you had seen this output uh, the order 1001 does not have sales line so do I actually need this in my data set because uh, I don't want to output uh, you know a blank table because there are no records in everything on my report which we were developing is actually based on sales line so if there are no sales line why should I print it and that can be done with the properties so let's see the last one which is we indent we link but we link with the property called as print only if details which is something like this uh, which is something like this that means you have that link which is uh, this right you have everything like this which we did on the last one but at the sales header you say that only print my sales header if there are sales line so if there is no sales line then that particular record will be excluded from the data set so let's see that and uh, try to replicate that so what we'll do is so what we'll do is we'll do the changes and see the impact so my sales line link is a specified which I did in the last one and if I go to the my sales header I can specify that print only if detail that means if the relevant child which is linked to it if it has records then only consider my sales header so let's try to run it with the same filters which we did and let's see our data set so now you see that there is no appearance of 10, uh, 1001 which does not have a child so now this is my best way to uh, link two tables and I should apply this on my report right so let's go back to our actual report close this and uh, which is our uh, my custom sales report and add the sales header data item so I click F3 I just follow the same step and I say sales header and I say my sales line is uh, okay I need to save it okay I need here I can see that my sales line okay because it's not indented so it's not showing in the property I need to indent it okay done now at the sales line I can say that it is linked with sales header using uh, document type and uh, document number from the sales line which are mapped with document type and number field so only selective records will come but I don't want a blank uh, sales header so I can say it print only uh, if detail to true so now it bring and let's select some field we'll you know we can add them in future as we know so I select right now document type uh, sell to customer number and let's say number okay added them right okay so this is my these three fields from the sales header and these uh, rest of the fields from the sales line so now I'm able to do that but now if I run this report my user get a page like this which is called as request page where he can add the filter 
but every time he need to do that right so why don't we uh, um, uh, specify that uh, these are the default filters and user can add if he want so you can go ahead and go to the sales header and from the request filter field of the property you can select what you want so I want to filter on number field but as we are making this report or developing this report only for orders so we need to filter our sales header also only for orders that you can do over here which is that data item table view so I can go ahead and I say that my filter for the sales header should be that document type is constant to order that means now this report only works for sales orders not for invoices not for codes not for uh, credit memos and all but only for order you can specify more fields over there if you want for the request field filter you can say let's say sell to customer number number and uh, anything whatever you want right number printed that doesn't make any sense but okay let's say posting date that make more sense okay so now if a user runs it he see a default option to provide the value for three fields if he wants and based on that my report output will come so it will something look like this now where you can still see a sales line which I don't want because I don't want user to filter based on sales line so I actually want to remove it so I can go back to my designer go to my sales line table on the data item table view on the same way where we specified that uh, document type is order I just need to assign a key okay if I assign a key over there you don't see that uh, sales line uh, part on the on your request page so if I see here now only see on the sales header part I can specify the numbers over here or I can specify the customers and then I can run my report so let's see if I say it something like this what is printed there are we haven't changed anything on the layout so there will be no much changes but right now it only show you three uh, sales line which are actually related to only these three orders out of which one order does not have anything right so let's see the data set before we close this so you see uh, three orders with number 1005 and two lines for sales line uh, for the sales order 101009 whereas 101005 have one sales line and rest is your sales line detail in the next uh, video we'll see how more tables we can add um, other tables and then how we will modify them uh, modify our layout to uh, group those records or maybe to add a new table in the body so that's all for today uh, hope you like the video uh, do let me know your comments and feedbacks on the uh, on the comment section or you can email me your suggestions query and I'll be happy to help thank you for your time bye bye